getting ready to perform the soul song. She's going to liberate the dead and release them from their suffering and despair. Hey, Light? When Vanil saves the dead, what'll happen to me? Hope? What's going on? What about my soul? The light of my life, let it be redeemed at last. Light. Hope. I've come to say goodbye. How did you... It's too late for me now. I had a job. That was God's eyes and ears, made to watch over everything you did. But now the last day is here, and God doesn't need me anymore. I'll just... disappear. God just doesn't like leaving loose ends. This was always his plan. Bonavelza, he's going to just cast you aside? It's his way. It's harder than I thought it would be, but he still needs you, and you can help the others. Will you do that for me? Vanille intends to go through with the soul song and throw her life away. But she won't be the only one who dies. That ceremony is going to destroy all those souls, yet she has the power to lead them to the new world. Yes. She doesn't know what she is, or what she can do. You have to tell her. I know her. As long as she knows the truth, she'll do the right thing. And then, you'll have a choice to make too. It'll be your only chance to save Sarah. I've got to find her soul if I want to save her, and... The truth is, I just can't feel her anymore. <sighs> It'll be all right. Trust me. She can see you, and she's been watching over you. When you make the right choice, you'll find her again. The right choice? <sighs> Tough call for someone who can't stop repeating past mistakes. It'll be easy. You just have to imagine what kind of world Sarah would want. What kind of person she wants you to be. Do that, and the answer will be clear. But that's the problem, don't you see? Maybe once I knew her well enough to know what she would want. Something's happened to my soul. I can't see people's hearts anymore, not even my sister's. You don't have to give up. Overcoming your mistakes, that's the key. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. If you succeed in the end, 
So keep trying, okay? I'm off to a bad start. I didn't make the effort to understand you. I didn't trust you and instead hid everything from you. No, that was the right thing to do. That wasn't the real me. And he was never someone you should have trusted. He was just a pawn in God's game. I'm sorry. Don't be. At least I've had this chance to be myself again, here at the very end. After all that's happened, it's enough. Do you remember when we first met all those centuries ago? Do you remember what you told me then? Keep your eyes front. I'll watch the rear. But I didn't. I couldn't. <sighs> oh, but you did. More times than you know. As long as you were with me, Light, I didn't have to fear anything. I'm not scared. Not even now. Because you're here. Hope! So, Hope, you've gone and left me behind. Or was it the other way around? Was it me who left you? I'll save you. Kupo! <gasps> Kupo Popo? What are you doing here? I can't leave you all alone, Koopo. I have a message for you, Koopo. And here it is. No matter what happens, keep your eyes front. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you've got my back, right? You've got it, Koopo. What is it? Koopa? She's 
being used by the Order. She doesn't need to perform the Soul Song. She has the power to save the souls of the living and dead. Oh, does that mean she can save Sarah too, Koopa? I think so, if Hope is telling the truth. If I can grant her wish and make it true, then she'll come back at last. At least that's what he said. But God himself wants Vanille to complete that ceremony. If I stop her, I'll be defying his will. Then I don't know what will happen to Sarah. I know what Sarah would say, Kubo. She wouldn't hesitate. She'd say, do what's right. Help save all the souls. Yes, I know. She's always been like that. If someone needs saving, she just goes ahead and does it. No matter how dangerous it is to her. Yeah. Just like your big sister, Koopo. And that's why... That's why I'm worried about you too, Koopo. Don't worry, Mog. I'll be fine. I'm going to do what Sarah would want me to do, what she'd tell me to do. I'll make her wish come true, and she'll come back. Voices in prayer, children of the light, come gather ye to the final place. Pray to the Savior, she heralds the end. Pray to God in all his great glory, for he builds a paradise anew. <laughs> According to the Order, salvation is a privilege, reserved for a select few. The people who died in the past are going to be erased forever, like they never existed. The trouble is, though, the souls of the dead are bound to the memories of the living. Because we remember them, they can survive in the chaos. We're custodians, and our job is to keep the flame of memory burning. That's why the souls don't just melt into the chaos, because they're still remembered by us. They have an identity that keeps them alive. But if we forget them, they're gone forever with no hope of coming back. And it works the other way, too. If the soul of a dead person is destroyed, then our memories of that person disappear, too. Gone from our minds like they never were. Imagine forgetting everyone who once lived. It's more final than any mass murder. But... that's exactly what the Order is going to do with the Soul Song. Vanille has the power to summon all the souls to her. When she does, the Order will use the Clavis to destroy them. When it preaches purification, that's what the Order really means. But why would they wipe out the past? To get rid of all the sadness and uncertainty. All those regrets that hold us back and make us weak. They want us to start with a clean slate so we can be strong in our bold new world. And you know what? That's what God wants, too. Does Vanille know all this? Not all of it. The Order's kept her in the dark. As far as she knows, she's just releasing the dead from their suffering. 
She doesn't realize that when she does this, not only will the dead disappear, but so will our memories of them. Just keep me in your thoughts. Remember me. And we'll see each other again. No matter what happens to me. Even if I vanish from this world. Promise me, Lightning. Promise you'll remember me. If this ritual happens as the Order wants, my memories of Sarah will disappear. And when that happens, I'll lose any hope I had of bringing her back. Mm-hmm. Yep. She'll be gone forever. <sighs> then there's only one thing to do. I have to get into the Cathedral and stop that ritual. <sighs> what are you doing? Don't go! I have to. I'm out of time. Don't take everyone with you! <sighs> Leave me all alone. Vanille, please, open your eyes. The Soul Song saves no one. The Order can't save the dead. That's something only you can do. You and only you have the power to guide those souls into the future. I have to get to the Cathedral before the ceremony starts. I have strict orders not to let anyone in, no matter who they might be. I am to use any means to strike down anyone who would interfere with the sacred rite. Don't be a fool. You try to fight me, you die. Do your worst. Look around us, would you? It's the end of the world. We've been waiting hundreds of years for this. For God!
Servant of God. Aren't you supposed to be on the Order's side? I'm not a servant of these fanatics. They want to go through with their damn ritual, and I'm here to stop them. If that means a fight, so be it. But the ritual is God's plan, right? You're going to defy him as well? Yeah. Maybe I am. <laughs> That's a hell of an admission. Do you care? God brought you back to save souls and show them the way to the New World. It's a sacred mission, and there's only one thing in the world that would make you turn your back on it. Lightning, I know why you're going to betray God. <laughs> I won't let your wishes die here. I can't be late. I have to make it. Getting close. 